Rectangles can be mutated, so they are mutable, and we're about to mutate a rectangle. So this method we're going to use is called move rect. We'll put it right here. And what's it going to do? It's going to take a rectangle and an amount of change in D. So DX is the amount to shift it horizontally. DY is the amount to shift it vertically. Remember, Ys always go a start zero at the top and then they increase going down uh, when we make the graphics. All right, we'll leave all the point code up there. That's totally fine. We built a new rectangle. We're going to draw the box. Uh, the center, I don't really want to be thinking about the center here. Let's take all that away. What I do want to do is move the box. Move rect box comma. Let's move it right 10 and down 20. Now, if I just run this, you won't see a change because we need another draw box down below. There we go. We got one box and a second box. I want to animate this so it looks way cooler. Let's only move it one and one. And let's do a four and zero. Add less than something. Four hundred. Oh, plus plus. I there we go. And I just want to do these over and over and over and over again. Let's do them in the other order, and I won't even bother drawing it first. What? All right. So what happened there? It just moved the box one pixel at a time, and so it kind of covered up itself as it went. There's a few things a panel can do. You can clear the panel. There we go. There's the weight method. Oh, I want sleep. There we go. And milliseconds is what it takes. Panel dot sleep, ten. All right. That should slow it down, and we can see it running across the screen right there. I think if we did three and three, this will actually look pretty neat. Boom, there we go. All right. It should stop at some point, um, but it can go pretty far. All right, so now we're starting to draw some cool stuff. Now you can clear. Panel.clear. All right, so that flickers, which I don't like. Uh, so here's draw. Here's the draw the rectangle. I'm going to do instead is erase the rectangle. All right, in order to do this, I'm going to take the original color. My background's white. So we're going to change the color. color. Set the color to white. Then we're going to draw and then we're going to set color back to color C. So I save the original color, change it to white, draw the rectangle, and then set the color uh, back to the original. I don't want this to Flicker. It flickers from the clear method. All right, so we're going to draw and then erase the box. No, oh, it didn't do anything because I moved the rectangle before I erased the box. So if you're going to do it this way, you want to move the rectangle at the very end so that you draw and then erase the correct box. And it still flickers a bit. Pretty good though. Okay, of course you don't need to use three and three. You can uh, move a different amount and do other cool stuff, but that's the basics of animating right there. Let's have a little fun here. So 
still runs off the screen. 100. There we go. Okay. Neat. Of course, you can loop these and make it bounce all around, uh, which we will be doing soon, uh, but I just wanted to give you a little taste of what's to come. 